Hi, this is part three of the Kwanzaa overview titled Mechatronic Controls. So in this portion, we'll be speaking about the Hexapod, which is a six degree of freedom steward platform. We'll also touch on the active suspension system, which is super cool. The 3D gyroscope, the 2D planar robot, and the industrial mechatronics drive unit. So let's get started. So on the top there, you've got the six stuff hexapod, the six degree of freedom hexapod. And on the top right, you have the 3D gyro. On the bottom right, you have the two degree of freedom planar writing robot. On the bottom left, you have the industrial mechatronics drive unit. And on the top left, you have the active suspension system. So the first system, let's take a look at the six off hexapod. And so as you can see, there are, there are a wide range of applications for this system. And let's see here if we have a nice video. So here is one example of it being used as a earthquake shake table. Take a look at this. Okay, so we're here at the I Okay, so we're here at the IEEE case conference, and uh, at the Quantum booth, we have a few pieces of equipment on display. Here we have the hexapod being set up as a uh, six degree free motion platform, and we have some visualization uh, for driving on the moon. So I can drive on the moon over here. And as I'm driving, I can actually feel the bumps of the moon and have the vehicle move up and down. So this is a six degree of freedom hexapod. Leo, Leo are doing an amazing job at demonstrating the system, but the, I mean, if you really try to understand what's happening here, this is a, a system that, you know, if you wanted to buy a six degree of freedom platform, you know, even a few years ago, it would have to be hydraulic and expensive and dirty and like you're looking at half a million dollars. This system, because the fact that it uses electric motors and, uh, and it's just an amazing system. It's you know a fraction of the cost of what six off platforms used to cost. And so you, so you see it here is being you know interfaced with a a uh, a virtual simulator. So let's see here if we have a few more examples of the hexapod. Here's the hexapod being used as a another driving simulator. Yes, we like driving simulators. So because of the open architecture nature of the system, it can also be used for simulating earthquakes. And I mean, I've heard of professors who want to use it for simulating waves. So if you're trying to create a device that can capture wave energy, you can simulate that in the lab with something like this. I mean, there are hundreds of applications for something like this hexapod. And uh, the other one I wanted to, sp the second one is the industrial mechatronics drive unit. And this is a, a system that I don't think a lot of our clients have actually purchased, but I think it, it should be um, considered uh, more often. It's called the Industrial Mechatronics Drive Unit, and it offers a practical and economic, economical way to teach and research basic and advanced servo control. Its expandable base unit comes with two modules. Teaching can include backlash and friction compensation, haptics and teleoperation, web winding control, minimization of torsional vibration, and coupled high order implementations of complex industrial processes. The IMDU and its modules are also excellent tools for industrial R&D applications, allowing for the practical implementation of applied control. So again, if you take a look at the product information sheet for the IMDU, you'll see that you know this is a great tool for even teaching controls, um, but you know it's it's even better for for doing research. The next system I wanted to show here is the two degree of freedom planar writing robot, and so 
Kwanzaa essentially had an opportunity to work with, I believe it was Margaret Atwood and a team of engineers that she was working with on a remote signing robot. So a robot where Margaret Atwood, the famous author, could sit, let's say, at home and sign a book in China in some you know, bookstore. And they had been working on the system for a couple of years, I believe, and somehow Jacob had found out about it. And one thing led to another, and we ended up helping them with that project. And so what we learned from that project, we implemented on the 2D planar writing robot, which we now offer as a tool, again, for learning about parallel robotics to do, you know, to, to, to understand research uh, for research purposes, for many other reasons. 3 DOF gyroscopes. So as many of you know, you know, gyroscopes are everywhere. I mean, you even have a gyroscope in your iPhone now. And so the question is, is, you know, how do gyros really work? And well, more importantly, you know, how, you know, there are, the application of gyros are infinite. I mean, you have it on ships for navigation, you have them on satellites for navigation. And so you know, many professors, um, you know, teaching aside even, who are doing research on understanding gyroscopic effect and, and designing controllers uh, based on that can really turn to something like the 3D gyroscope uh, for implementing their research ideas on as a, you know, as a hardware in the loop, as a hardware for their research uh, project. This is a very, very popular system. This came out a few years ago here at Kwanzaa. Uh, as many of you know, active suspensions are used in, in some of the higher-end cars nowadays. And so essentially just have, most of our cars have a spring that acts as a shock or the, the suspension of the car. Um, but these newer systems actually have uh, motors and accelerometers arranged in, you know, in a beautiful way such that they get significantly better performance. And so, you know what is an active suspension system? Again, we're gonna I'm gonna start doing videos on um, these individual systems and doing longer uh, pieces on on each one. But this here is you see the active suspension. Now, just in general, this silver plate represents the ground. The red plate represents the chassis of the car. And, sorry, the the tires um, of the car, the vehicle, the virtual vehicle in this case, and the blue represents the chassis of the vehicle. And so, as you see this virtual car drive through this terrain, you see what's happening to that vehicle uh, via the active suspension system that you see here. So, very, very interesting and, again, uh, a novel piece for doing uh, high-end research. And so you can integrate this with T-bars, see this here. Um, but the piece I really wanted to share with everybody is right at the end here. So. There you go. In this demo, we use an actuator between the tire and the vehicle body to do active suspension control. A square-shaped road is used to model the road. You can so you see there, as it's bouncing around, the blue plate's going crazy. That would be the chassis, that would be you in the car. And you see here, plotted in MATLAB Simulink in real time. And you see how much oscillation there is. And then you turn... You see the response of the system in open loop you turn the controller on, so by the way, there's a, a motor that connects these two plates and there's an accelerometer right at the top plate here. And that accelerometer data, if you, um, if you know what the acceleration is at this plate, then you can essentially figure out what the position is. Um, and by knowing that, you can design a controller that can, or the motor, um, an actuator that actually controls the distance between these two plates in a way such that this top plate is not bouncing around. And closed loop configurations. Thank you again for your time and uh, we'll stop the video here.